Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, so today I wanted to do a video on contour, highlight, and sort of like a mix of my everyday uh, makeup routines. So yeah, we just go over um, all the tips and tricks I've learned over time on a kind of an everyday contour highlight look on top of my sort of everyday total uh, makeup look. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's jump into the video. Okay, so what I just did was I uh, completely washed my face and I did my whole foundation routine um, and I set everything with a powder. Definitely do that before you start your contour and highlight and blush because everything will blend so much easier. The product that I like to use for my for my contour and highlight is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. Um, this is really nice because it has um, a really great selection of colors um it's it's it can be kind of a little bit deep for people who have a little more fair skin tones like myself but a little goes a long way so if you don't use too much it's never it's not usually too dark or anything um so what i like to do is i don't usually do like a really intense contour i'm not a huge fan of that especially for like an everyday kind of look um but for today i'm just kind of doing like an easy everyday kind of like a simple contour so what i do is i like to use like a really nice like domed brush this is this guy's super he's dirty because he's white and they're impossible to get clean but this guy is, is super Super fluffy and he's kind of domed so it's a lot easier to get the shape that you want um, with the with the crevice of your cheeks so what I like to do is I'll go on this palette and I'll pick up this middle shade here and I'll go in between these two these two colors colors that I'm using are called shadow play and subconscious I'm just gonna tap the brush in both of those and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a silly face so I'm gonna make a sorry my hair is tickling um, I'm gonna make a fishy face like that so when you do this it's gonna outline the natural shadow of your cheek that would naturally be there uh, without makeup. So what we're doing with contour is we're just emphasizing that shadow. Um, it's just a way to kind of mimic the shape of the face that you that you want that you want to create for yourself. So again, make that fishy face. I'm just gonna lightly dust that color. And something that I found um, that helps a lot when you're using certain brushes, or really all brushes, I sometimes find myself holding them at like the very end. And what that's doing is it's kind of, it's distorting the shape of the brush and it's not gonna allow the brush to do what it's intended for. So what I like to focus on doing is really hold it towards the end and really allow the shape of the brush to do the work for you because that's why they're shaped and created the way that they are because they do the job themselves. You don't, you shouldn't have to do too much work without, other than, you know, of course, moving the brush. Um, so again, do the same thing on the other side, tap them in the product and make the silly fishy face. What this is doing is it's creating, like I said, it's creating those shadows, shadows, and it's gonna give your face a shape that isn't naturally there. So what this is doing is it's, it's giving us the illusion that we have these, these indentations which makes your face look slimmer. And then it's also going to, sorry, I'm looking at my viewfinder while I'm talking to make sure that I'm like touching the right side of my face. So we're, we're creating those shadows so that it makes the face look slimmer. And then we're gonna put the white colors wherever we want it to brighten and add a lift. So I have a really nice big forehead. So what I like to do also is I like to hit the sides of my forehead with my contour color. So uh, what I'll do is just kind of pull my hair to the side and I'll just dust this on the sides of my forehead. And again, what this is doing is it's taking sort of a, a solid color, like a white color, which is what my forehead typically is. And it's gonna add a little dimension and it's gonna make it trick the eye into thinking that it's smaller because the human eye is actually attracted to brighter colors first. So anything that you want to look brighter and bigger, you're gonna put the lighter color, which would be like underneath our eye, the center of our eyes, um, anywhere that you want to add a lift or make it brighter. Anywhere you wanna make smaller, um, you wanna put your, your darker colors, which is, which is where we put our contour. So another place that I'll put it is on my jawline. So you have a natural shadow where your jaw meets your neck, so what you do is if you if you put a little contour there, it's gonna create a more intense shadow to make it look like your, your jawline is more chiseled. Now you don't wanna do it too high because then you'll end up having like a, a pretty intense line here. You wanna kinda keep it right underneath but a little bit up so that you can you can see it. And again, blending is super important, which we'll do, which we'll do at the end. So sometimes I like to even make my contour a little bit more intense, and then I'll go back in and I'll blend it out. So once I finish that, I'm gonna go into my lighter colors in this palette. And actually the, the palette itself comes with um, this really, it doesn't come with, you have to purchase it separately, but it comes with a shade and light uh, brush. It has a nice kind of curved uh, slanted brush on this end and then a nice domed brush. So I like to use the dome brush. What I'll do is I'll pick up these two colors, your yellow and more, 
more pale pink color and I don't really like to put too much white here because sometimes you'll get like some flashback if it's just too much powder and too much product um, but what I'll do is just very not much product at all I'll just very gently tap underneath the eye just to, again we want to add brightness there and I, I don't want to put too much here because, again, I don't want my forehead any bigger than it already is. Um, but I'll put a little bit on my chin just to kind of even it out because you don't want just like two white masks underneath your eye and then everything else look tan and, and contoured. So I like to just kind of even it out. Maybe draw a little bit down the, down the bridge of the nose. So once that is all set, I will take... I used to do my blush first, but what I've been learning is I kind of like the look of doing your highlight first and then adding the blush to kind of blend everything in. So the highlight that I've been loving is the Dose of Color, especially when I'm tan. I kind of, I gave myself a tan the other day, so I'm a little bit tan. Um, I love this Dose of Covers, Colors, the Desi by Katie line. It's, it's a really, really good highlighter. This is the color Fuego. And I've been going back and forth between like a fluffy uh, big dome brush. This is the Morphe M509 um, and between like a fan brush. So the fan brush, I love uh, this is the Morphe M310 uh, but I think with this with this um, highlight it's not too powdery so you kind of really have to get in there to get the product onto the brush so I just kind of take my take my brush swirl them in there and again I like this I like this um, highlight because you don't get a ton of follow so you don't feel like you're wasting product my um, Becca champagne pop highlighter is my all-time favorite but that guy you have to just like tap ever so lightly otherwise you'll just get a ton of fallout in that so this this is another reason why i really like this highlight too um so what i do is again i make that fishy face and we're going to put our highlight anywhere we want to lift the face and add um just like a lift to make it brighter so i'm going to make that face and i want to hit it right i want to hit it right on like my cheekbone on the highest point of your cheek so again we're just going to kind of make that face see i love that i just think it's so nice it's not like super duper intense but Oh, I just love it. I could add highlight to my face all day long. It's my favorite. Again, we'll go back in that palette. I'm gonna just add. No, this can highlight can sometimes be a little tricky for me because I have these little mole like I don't even know what they are. They're like they're just little freckly raised mole things. I call it my Orion's belt because I have three of them right here. Um, whenever you're using a highlight and you have texture in those areas, it can be kind of tough because highlight picks up texture. Um, so if I ever have any breakouts, I actually, knock on wood, normally don't. But if you ever have any breakouts here, it's kind of, I wouldn't recommend putting a highlight there because it's just going to grab whatever texture you have and just bring it, bring it to the surface and make it very noticeable to the eye. So what I like to do, instead of taking a really shimmery kind of highlight, I'll use one that's more subtle. Um, the one that one that I really like is the Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Powder. This is in Radiant Light. And this is actually really nice for brides. Um, it's not super, it almost has, it has a shimmer in it, but it's not like a glittery shimmer. It's very, very subtle. And it's more powdery than it is, um, like I said, kind of like really shimmery. So that's a really nice one if, you, if you're someone who has a lot of texture there. Um, but luckily right now, I don't get nothing. So we're just gonna highlight like crazy because we can and then yeah i like to hit the the tip of the nose too uh just to give him a little extra little extra something i see a lot of people do like the exclamation point so they'll bring it on the bridge of the nose and pop it i don't usually do that but for the sake of the video what the heck why not right anywhere i can add highlight i'm gonna do it and then they have the cupid's bow which i don't mind i like it it's some people say it looks like you have a mustache when you do this but I like me some highlights so and then what I do um, everyone's been asking for me to do that the look that I um, do in all my other videos which is super simple I literally just do it with my contour and highlight shades um, I'll take I'll actually just jump back into that palette I'll take my shade and light palette um, and I'll, I'll tap those two colors that I was using and I'll just put them in the crease of my eye and again this is just adding that depth and it's making the illusion that your eye has more depth to it than it normally would um, Right in the crease, you just want to really buff it in there, go back and forth. I don't know if you can make it tell a huge difference, but it's just going to, again, create more depth in, in the eye. To the other side. This is like my, my lazy, everyday look. I didn't intend to do this, but I figured it's sort of the same exact thing as my foundation and highlight and contour routine, so why not put them together? And then what I'll do is I'll actually put this contour powder um, underneath my bottom lip. So what this is going to do is going to, create the illusion that your your bottom lip is bigger because it's casting a shadow underneath so and then I don't usually contour my nose but if I do if I feel like I I want to I'll just I'll just use this brush very gently very lightly I don't I don't usually do like a 
um, intense contour to my nose. I don't think I've really figured it out yet, and I don't know what shape I want my nose to be, so I don't know. I just leave it alone. Okay, now we're done with the contour color. Um, and then I'll actually go back into my highlight, which I actually would rather use the Champagne Pop for. Um, I like to just put a little dot in, in the corners of my eye to, again, just add, add some color and add some attention to that area of the eye. So again, this guy has a ton of fallout. This is my favorite highlight by far, but if, if you do, if you swirl it, you're gonna lose half, half the pan. So I've had this, this palette since Jacqueline released this like I've had it for so long because I I just learned that it, it you could waste a ton if you put too much pressure on the palette So I've had that forever So yeah, we just add this here to add a little bit of extra pop to the corner of the eye I have this fun little mini fan brush. This is the compact fan brush by real techniques It's got a tiny little little brush on there. So what I'll do is I'll take him tap him in the palette and I'll just, you just want to highlight the highest point of your brow. You don't want to bring it down because again, that's going to drag the eye down with it. You can highlight wherever the heck you want, but if you want to create that um, illusion to trick the eye, you want to put it just on the spots of the face that you want to be lifted. I'll put some on my eyelid just to add a little extra. Yeah, and then we'll move on to blush. So the last thing that I do is I'll apply some brush. And I got this in my, um, my Ipsy bag. This is the uh, Dirty Little Secret Kitty Pink Blush. It's just like a really nice like peach. I'm not a big blush person. Pink on my face kind of freaks me out. So I try to go for the more like peachy tan tones for my blush. Um, and actually what I do is I, I mix him. So I got, it's by Ofra, the, it's called Peach Blush. And this has an actual really nice it's this color right here, this uh, peach one. And this is almost like the Dirty Little Secret one, but it has, I feel like, I find it has less color payoff, but it has a lot of shimmer to it, which I think is really pretty. Tap it into the Dirty Little Secret pretty, what's it called? And then I'll tap it into the one with the shimmer, tap off the extra product, and do a little smile. But I used to, what I used to do is just kind of put my blush there, which is fine. But I find that if I kind of blend it out, towards my highlight and bronzer, it kind of blends nicer and looks a little bit more natural. So again, Tap in those products. And I don't go crazy with blush. Like, I won't be surprised if you really can't even see much of this on camera, but I like it to add the little color and flush, but it kind of just, blush kind of freaks me out. So yeah, so that's all I do for my contour and highlight. I'm gonna go put my mascara on and a little bit of a lip, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I just um, obviously put on my mascara, just as I did in my um, mascara video. And then I put on a lip liner and a lipstick. I use MAC Oak Liner and the Desi X Katie uh, No Shade Lipstick. So um, the very last step that I wanna do is I want to blend everything out. So I grab my, uh, oh my God, this is so loved. This is the Sigma Duo Fiber Brush in number F50. So what I do is I just kinda, this is a really nice brush. It's a duo fiber. It's, it's, it's dense, but the top of it's kinda, kinda loose. So what we do is we just wanna go around Really just blend everything out. So anywhere that could be like a harsh line, like down here up top, I wanna just kind of blend, especially on the forehead to avoid your bronzer helmet. <laughs> okay, and that's kind of it. So that's my everyday um, contour highlight and kind of eye look that you guys have been asking for um, that I did in my last two videos. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And um, I hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you in my next video, bye. He's my baby. Oh, my oof. Hi, YouTube. Hello. Oh, he's so good. Look at his happy tail. Oh, it was just moving. I saw it. Oh, are you talking to me? Are you talking to me?